From a bridge in Brazil that collapsed like a row of dominoes, and a cursed suspension bridge that just loves falling down, to a steel footbridge in Pakistan that got washed away during a flood, and a road in India that couldn't withstand the raging rapids. Here are 10 massive bridge failures caught on camera. The Pakistani province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, also known as KPK, sits in the northwestern region of the country. Its landscape varies between rugged mountain ranges and deep valleys. And while we don't normally associate the Middle East with flash floods, certain regions like KPK are highly vulnerable. For example, 2022 was a costly year for floods in Pakistan. From June to October, flash floods caused nearly $15 billion worth of damage and another $15 billion in economic losses. Somewhere on that ledger is this footbridge that never stood a chance. <laughs> This bridge collapsed around the same time Pakistan announced an official state of emergency in August. The flooding was described as the worst in the country's history and ranked among the costliest natural disasters of all time. In KPK alone, 600,000 people were displaced due to flooding. Over 326,000 homes were damaged by floods and ensuing landslides. We've been knocking over dominoes since the late 1300s. In fact, the domino effect has become part of our everyday speech. It's when one thing leads to another, which leads to another, and so on. On January 2nd of 2016, locals in a Brazilian village got to watch the domino effect live in their backyard. A bridge known locally as the Cemetery Bridge was on its last leg. All it took was a little push. When each piece landed, it fell backward and took out the support column under the next section. There was no stopping it after the initial collapse. And we're not sure what caused the cemetery bridge to fail in the first place. If we had to guess, years worth of erosion and poor maintenance played a role. It doesn't look like it was strong enough to handle cars, but tons of foot traffic can quickly add up. Bihar, India is the third most populated state in the country. It's home to over 100 million people and one very stubborn bridge. Since 2004, construction crews have been trying to build a bridge across the Ganges River. The $200 billion Sultan Ganj Bridge is meant to connect the districts of Bagalpur and Kagaria. It collapsed for the first time in April of 2022. Then, on June 4th of 2023, she came crumbling down again. We're going to assume that those people didn't make it off the boat in time. Thankfully, that wave didn't look strong enough to cause any damage. Strong wind and rain caused the initial collapse in April of 2022. 
that time, only a small portion between Pillars 4 and 6 fell into the Ganges River. According to a report from the Indian Institute of Technology, the second collapse was due to a flaw in the design. The pillars could never support the load of the superstructure. They essentially spent the entire time building toward the bridge's doom. Construction began in 2014 and was supposed to wrap in 2019. But after eight missed deadlines and two catastrophic collapses, it doesn't seem like the Sultan Ganj Bridge will ever be built. The Ta Chin is a 475-mile river flowing through central Thailand. Farmers and traders use the river to send goods up and down Nakhon Patom province. On December 21st of 2017, a soybean farmer sent his product upriver on a barge. It never made it. Sumat Tapandi had a simple job drive the barge up the river and deliver the soybeans to a cooking oil factory. Unfortunately, Sumat didn't see the giant bridge stretching across the Tachin River until it was too late. CCTV footage from a riverside restaurant captured the entire event. It looks like Sumet's barge is about to smash into the first column, but that's just the angle playing tricks on us. It's actually the second column that gives him trouble. The barge rides up on its left side and begins listing. That forward momentum pushes the column, and the entire bridge collapses on the barge. Sumet said he lost control of the barge after the engine shut off and the rudder stopped working. There was nothing he could do but pray they missed the bridge. According to a crew member, there's usually someone stationed at the front of the boat. Thankfully, everyone was in the back when the bridge fell. According to local reports, nobody got hurt during the collapse. Sumet had to pay a $58 fine for operating with a suspended license. The police said he'd also be fined for property damage. We can't say for sure how much. Between May 13th and 18th of 2014, Central and Southeastern Europe was ravaged by catastrophic flooding. Countries like Serbia and Bosnia got it the worst, with northern Bosnia suffering the brunt of the damage. In the small town of Zavidovici, 8,000 people sought higher ground when the Bosna River overflowed. The water rose so high that it ripped a steel footbridge out of its foundation. Known locally as the Duga, the bridge used to connect one side of town to the other. It was a scenic place where people could walk and take pictures of the Bosna River. According to Google Maps, it's been rebuilt as of 2022. Other than the Duga, the rising waters destroyed six other bridges along different rivers near Zavidovici. Several days of heavy rain also plagued the area with landslides. When it was over, the streets were full of mud, splintered wood, and all kinds of debris. The Dwarka Expressway is an under-construction eight-lane highway in northern India. The 17-mile road is supposed to connect the industrial neighborhood of Dwarka to a toll plaza outside of New Delhi. The only problem? They keep having accidents. On March 28th of 2021, a 262-foot section of the bridge randomly collapsed. Thankfully, those who were working near the bridge didn't experience any serious injury. Some goats hang out in the foreground while the bridge looms in the distance. It wasn't a busy day on the job site, so not many people were around. Out of nowhere, a portion on the left gives way, and the whole structure comes crashing down. The poor goats take off running while someone in a small vehicle drives by. They watch as the bridge disappears in a cloud of dust. Workers who wished to remain anonymous said someone needs to keep tabs on safety. While there are measures in place, many feel like things are moving too quickly. The bridge was supposed to be done in 2012, but several accidents and land disputes have held the project up. 
Some workers think their employers are more concerned with deadlines than safety. Wandur is a small town in southwestern India. It's located on the banks of the Kaliar River, so when rain picks up, the risk of flooding increases. Thankfully, the roads across the river are built with tunnels to let water through. On August 9th of 2018, heavy rains put those tunnels to the test. Flood water smashed into the side of a busy road, and the locals gathered to see if it would hold. According to one YouTuber who lives in the area, the road was in good condition. The tunnel beneath was no match for the water. At least the locals were in good spirits. Hopefully, when they rebuild the road, they dig a wider runoff tunnel. About 1,500 miles north in Darbanga, India, another group of locals gathered to watch their own bridge collapse. This one happened about a year later, on July 16th of 2019. A newly constructed bridge was put to the test when flash floods hit the region. Locals gathered near the bridge as soon as they saw the water levels rising. Apparently, nobody had faith that the bridge would hold. While they seemed jovial at first, both groups were stranded on either side of the river. There aren't many crossings in these small villages. When one goes down, it's several miles to the next. China gets some of the worst rainstorms on Earth. Rivers overflow every year, causing untold amounts of damage to small villages and major cities. On May 28th of 2023, locals in Xuanhan County watched as raging rapids destroyed everything in sight. It carried cars downstream and broke a steel bridge in half. According to reports, nobody got hurt during the flood. That's because the people of Xuanhan are used to the signs. They know to seek higher ground when the rain starts falling. Local weather services said the area experienced 12 hours of intense regional rainstorms. It began around 8 p.m. on May 27th and ended around 8 a.m. on May 28th. Hangzhou, China is the capital and most populated city in Zhejiang province. It sits on the head of Hangzhou Bay, separating the cities of Shanghai and Ningbo. Over the years, they've become a major economic hub in China, putting out about $486 billion in GDP. That means they had enough money to fix this bridge debacle. On May 18th of 2019, a truck tried to pass under a low-hanging footbridge. The driver grossly underestimated how much clearance he had. The truck's rear just barely clips the bridge. The momentum tears it down, nearly crushing the white car underneath. The driver makes a split-second decision and guns it before the bridge hits his car. According to local reports, the items on the truck were stacked way over the height limit. Police arrested the driver, but it might not have been his fault. The driver likely assumed he could make it under the bridge. Whoever loaded that truck should take some of the blame. It took about eight hours to clean up the mess and get traffic moving again. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the bridge came down. We're not sure if the white car suffered any damage. Ningde, China is a prefecture-level city in Fujian province. 
It's home to about 2.8 million people and one of the oldest bridges in the world. At least, it used to be. At 321 feet, the Wan'an Bridge used to be the longest arch bridge in China. It was originally built over 900 years ago during the Song Dynasty. It's burned down and been rebuilt several times over the past millennium. The most recent fire occurred on August 6th of 2022. This one might have been the final nail in the coffin. According to reports, the fire started around 9 p.m. Crews fought the blaze for over two hours, but they couldn't contain it in time. Similar bridges have caught fire because they're located near shrines where people burn incense. We're not sure why this one burned down, but that could have been why. In 2006, the Wan'an Bridge was added to the list of China's priceless cultural relics. From what we can tell, they plan on rebuilding the bridge again. Only this time, they'll add a few more fire safety measures. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.